Hello everyone. This video will briefly explain how to calculate a rate of descent for a given airspeed and glide path. Approach charts usually have this information written on them already for a specific approach, but in case you are wondering, this is how you get it. Here we have a plane descending on a 3 degree glide path with a speed of 100 knots. To keep the glide path of 3 degrees, the airplane needs to lose a certain amount of altitude for a certain distance it covers over the ground. For simplification, we will assume that the indicator airspeed is the same as the ground speed. With such a shallow glide path and no winds, these two speeds are practically the same while flying at a low altitude. We now have a right angle triangle, and if we know the approach speed and the glide path angle, we can calculate the rate of descent needed to keep the glide path with a current speed. So, the tangent of our glide path angle, in this case 3 degrees, is equal to the ratio of altitude x that we need to lose to the distance s that we traveled over the ground. Since we want the rate of descent in feet per minute, we need to convert our speed from knots, which is nautical miles per hour, to feet per minute as well. To do this, we can divide the speed by 60, which gives us the speed in nautical miles per minute, and then multiply it by 6080, since there is approximately 6080 feet in one nautical mile. We now have the speed in feet per minute. Now that we know how much ground we cover in one minute, we can calculate how much altitude we need to lose in one minute as well. If we go back to our formula and multiply it by s, we will see that x equals s times the tangent of 3 degrees. Remember that s was the distance in feet we traveled in one minute, so if we multiply that distance with the tangent of 3 degrees, we will get the altitude we need to lose to stay on the path of 3 degrees, which now happens to be the rate of descent in feet per minute, 531 feet per minute. You can now use this formula and insert other speeds and angles to get the rate of descent needed. For example, a jet with an approach speed of 140 knots descending on a path 3 degrees will need to descend at a rate of 743 feet per minute, but if it wants to descend on a path of 6 degrees, it will need to descend twice as fast. If you don't have a scientific calculator nearby, for a glide path of 3 degrees, multiply your approach speed by 5.31 to get the rate of descent. Alternatively, you can just multiply it by 5 to get an approximate result. I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun descending.